Smoking gun, Obama's name edited out of FBI documents. The Struzak page text messages at the center of the growing FBI scandal are proving to be a gold mine of information for conservatives, but may be a thorn in the side of Democrats who are increasingly looking complacent and guilty. It is already widely known that FBI agent Peter Struzak and bureau attorney Lisa Page held strong anti-Trump bias, despite the fact that they were supposed to even-handedly investigate both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump without playing favorites. Now, additional text messages that were sent between the affair embroiled FBI officials have revealed another bombshell, documents sent to then-director James Comey during the Clinton email investigation were purposely edited to hide key information, including President Obama's connection to the scandal the text exchanges also indicate the FBI substituted, and then omitted damaging language in FBI Director Comey's July 5, 2016 statement that recommended Clinton not be charged, explained. Investigative journalist Cheryl at Kissin in the Hill. The original draft noted that Clinton had improperly used personal email to contact President Obama while abroad in the territory of sophisticated adversaries, at Kissin reported. You would think that the fact an insecure personal email account was used to communicate with the President of the United States while visiting unfriendly countries would be a pretty big deal, and something that investigators into Clinton's email usage would want to highlight. Instead, FBI officials appeared to purposely cover up this very alarming piece of information before the report went to Director Comey. According to the text exchange, an FBI official then removed President Obama's name and stated that Clinton had simply emailed another senior government official, explained at Kissin. That decision seemed purposely meant to downplay the seriousness of Clinton's recklessness with insecure email. But even that watered-down report ended up being hidden. In the final statement as delivered by Comey on July 5, both references were omitted entirely, the journalist reported in The Hill. This makes it very likely that FBI insiders like Struzak were stacking the deck in favor of Hillary Clinton, in order to make sure that no charges were filed against their favored candidate. Other text messages from FBI officials back up that view. In one, Lisa Page admitted to Peter Struzak that the Bureau and Attorney General Loretta Lynch had already sided with Clinton even before interviewing her about the allegations. Comey and Lynch reportedly knew that Clinton would never face charges even before the FBI conducted its three-hour interview with Clinton, which was supposedly meant to gather more information into her mishandling of classified information, stated at Kissin. On July 1, 2016, as the Lynch announcement became public, Page texted Struzak, and yeah, it's a real profile in Kurigusik, since she knows no charges will be brought. Hillary Clinton was not formally interviewed by the FBI until July 2. Even more damning is the evidence that the FBI officials knew they were being biased, and took steps to hide their conniving conversations. So look, you say we text on that phone when we talk about Hillary because it can't be traced, Paige wrote in one of her texts. She probably didn't want that message to get out. Every piece of information that comes out of the scandal seems to make Comey, the Obama-era FBI, and a list of Democrat allies increasingly guilty. The Department of Justice set out to find collusion from Trump and the Russians. It looks like there was collusion but it was between Barack Obama's DOJ and power-hungry liberal allies the whole time.